Today we are at Preen backstage and it's like my fourth, fourth season now in New York. Since her first season in fall 2008, Iris Drubeger has steadily commanded the runways with her boyish features and chameleon-like finesse. I'm from Austria and I started with a student exchange here in New York and I got scouted on the street. just said, oh, um, are you a model? Do you have an agency? Do you have any pictures? And that's how it started. Though she's easily become the latest face of androgynous beauty, modeling was never part of her plan. No, I was studying. I wasn't done with school yet. And I never thought about modeling before because I come from a little town in Austria and nobody is like modeling there, fashion is really not important. <laughs> so I thought, yeah, that's pretty weird. Why should I be a model? So far I've done lots of cuttings and a couple of fittings already. Now it's starting with the shows too, so it's gonna be more crazy and it's getting crazier. Iris has always been a standout with her wide set eyes and cut glass cheekbones. But it wasn't until she cut her hair into that recognizable boyish crop that she became a notable star. I think the one thing is that I have like a pretty good bone structure here and I'm also a bit boyish, but I can also be female and like womanly. I really like doing runway, yes, but um, I don't know, I don't really think about anything. I just want to like not fall and stuff, so I try to be very concentrated. Not only was Iris the face of multiple campaigns last season, she's a French Vogue favorite of editor-in-chief Corinne Reutfeld. Last season, or this season, I did um, She Was She and Valentino. I'm very happy about that. And the season before, I was on a Vogue cover for Fren French Vogue. This was like a cool thing to do. <laughs> 